on Wonderlust, and today I'm going to attempt to build a raised platform. Now there's a number of reasons why you might want to build a raised platform. The weather could have been really bad and the ground could be completely soaking wet. You may have had like some really heavy snow or you could be just avoiding animals. Anyway, I'm going to show you how we did it and uh, maybe you can give us some tips for next time or you can take some tips from this video. And don't forget to stick around as well because after that we're going to show you what we found buried in the woods. Let's check it out. Wow, here we go. We are in some beautiful local woodland. And what are we doing today, guys? We are building a platform. So we're off to find a nice set of trees, either three or four, in a triangle or a square, and we're going to rope up a platform. Yes, we have got some paracord, and we <laughs> Gaz is letting me loose with his axe for the first uh. time. <laughs> so it's all very exciting. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have found our three trees together. We're now going to go off and do some lashing. We're Square gonna... lashing. Square lashing, lovely. Right, just a quick note out there guys, we have got our axe here, but we are not cutting down new trees. We are only cutting down... Pre-fallen. Dead... Pre-fallen dead trees, just the size we need. We're going to start building the platform by attaching the weight-bearing branches. So we're using a tiny little razor blade um, to cut through the paracord. I'll get it all wrong now. Because <laughs> You'll always get it wrong pressure. on camera. It's the pressure. To connect the branches to the tree trunk, I'm going to do some square lashing. Now I learned how to do this from a tutorial on YouTube, funnily enough. You start by tying a clove hitch knot. You're then going to lash it around the tree trunk three times, going over and under. So we go over, round the back, under, round again, three times before we do some frapping. Let's do some frapping. 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 Fra frapping. Fra frapping. Fra frapping. Frapping. Frapping is simply wrapping the paracord around the lashing you've already done a few times, making sure you pull really tight, and then finish it off on the other side with another clove hitch nut. Exciting! <laughs> Look at the concentration. <laughs> Once your weight bearing branches are in place, simply cover with sticks to finish your platform. This is our wonderful raised bed platform where I will sleep tonight. <laughs> I was joking, by the way, we are still in lockdown. It's like a five-star hotel. If you are making one of these yourself, you can just cover it with the tarp. Just a quick reminder, guys, that once you've finished building your den, unless you've got permission to leave it up, please take it down. Don't forget, leave no trace. After dismantling the platform and cleaning up, we decided to look around. Oh my God, we have just found some amazing things in the woods. Let's go investigate. Come on. We came across this strange structure with stairs going down beneath the forest floor. So let's go and investigate and take a closer look. Trapped where you belong. Help. So I am reporting live from inside, which I think is a World War II bunker, which is pretty Exciting, also a little bit scary, but... Now, I'm not going to pretend that I have any kind of clue what these things actually are. My guess is it's a World War II shelter of some kind, but if anybody knows, anybody out there that can give me a little bit more information about what you think these are, that would be really, really handy. Just drop us a comment and let us know. Thank you so much. 